Well, the future of the Park Theater has been a major topic of controversy in Cranston in recent days after Mayor Ken Hopkins floated the idea of the city acquiring the landmark performance space. But now it looks like the mayor is changing course. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock sat down with him and joins us now live in studio with the latest. Matt. Kim Ted, after receiving an engineering structural report, as well as a lack of support from the Cranston City Council, Mayor Hopkins tells me purchasing and repurposing the Park Theater into a community center is now off the table. This is completely off the table at this point. It, it is on my book. Time is ticking down on the October 10th deadline to come up with a plan for Governor McKee's Learn 365 RI grant, which would offer the city of Cranston $6 million in federal ARPA funds. The three requirements to receive it. Uh, educational component, uh, job training component, and a financial health related component. And we were going to look at a variety of places in Cranston. An idea that was explored by the city and key stakeholders, the Park Theater. To see how much it would take or how much it would cost out of the $6.1 million to fix that facility, to get it up to standard so that those three entities could move into it. But that idea for the struggling arts center in Cranston getting major pushback from the city council, including councilman Robert Ferry. The park cinema should have never, never even been on the table. Citing his constituents as proof enough. I've had over a hundred people reach out to me telling me that it's, it's not a good idea and they don't think it's a good idea. I just don't think that the building is suitable for what the money is being allocated for. How much money are we talking though? Mayor Hopkins says it would cost roughly $3.2 million to meet requirements, as well as at least $2.8 million to purchase the property. Now with the Park Theater off the table, Mayor Hopkins raising concerns over the future of the historic cinema. My biggest fear is that if this does not go through and that people don't want it, that the building is going to shut down and get boarded up and it's going to be an eye for the city instead of a cultural center. Councilman Ferry did confirm that right now, the owners of the building are behind over $35,000 in city taxes and fees. Reporting live in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News.